Hi, Chris Cobb with Expert Village. So we've taken a look at the program. You kind of understand the basic parts to it. And now we have a little setting up to do. So let's jump in. The first thing we want to do in the program is we want to actually set some preferences. OK? So let's go up here to Preferences and make sure that our autosave reminder is on. Sometimes it is set to inactive up here, which is not what I like to have. I actually like to have it on 15 minutes so that it will save it automatically without bugging me too much. Okay? There's nothing worse than losing all the work that you've done on a production board because believe me, it's a lot of work. The next thing that I do is I go up here to design and I set my strip colors. Now, if you have seen a board before, if you saw my last series, you realize that these colors are pretty standard in the industry. Interior day is always white. Exterior day is always yellow. Interior night is always green. Exterior night is always blue. Those will make more sense if you don't know what I'm talking about as we go, but just take my word for it for now. The first thing I do is I get rid of all this other green because I don't want to confuse it with the interior night green. So I change all of that, and you see I've selected it here, and this down here is selected for background. So I change the background to a light gray. I go up here again, select it. Background is still selected. Change it to light gray. And I do it for all of the interior, exterior selections available to me. Okay? There. Now they're gray. They won't be confused with that green. The next thing that I do is I, get, I change the background here to a lighter background because I want to change the text to a darker text. So I change the background on interior night to a lighter green. And then on an exterior night, I'm going to change it to a lighter blue. Then I change the text. So I select it again. Go down here, select text, select black. Go up here, select an exterior night, select text, and select black. And then I get the nice contrast that I'm actually after. Um, I like the black text on a lighter background rather than a light text in a darker background because it's just easier to read when I print the board out. Okay. That gets my preferences set up, so let's move on.